Hello guys, welcome to the Web Epic channel. In this video, we'll learn how to create promotions in Google Merchant Center. So without further ado, let's jump in and learn how exactly we can do this. To create a promotion, log into your Google Merchant Center. Once you have done that, click on Marketing. Under Marketing, you will see the Promotions tab. To create a new promotion, go ahead and click on the little plus icon. Now let's go ahead and select a country, I'll choose United States and I'll keep the language at English. Now if you scroll down and there is also different kind of promotions that you can offer. For example, you can use amount of, percentage of, free gift or free shipping. Before we create this specific promotion, let's go back to CTX feed and create a feed with products and categories assigned to them. So let's go ahead and do that right now. First off, in our product page, I want to make sure that all the products have categories assigned to it. As you can see, we do have all the categories assigned. Now let's go to our plugin CTX feed and create a feed for our Google Merchant Center. Let's use this existing feed. The country is at United States. I'm going to keep it at that. Google Shopping, name is Promotion. That's all good. USD, that looks fine. What I'm trying to find is product categories. There we go. As you can see, the product categories attribute exists. Everything else looks great. Let's go update and generate this feed. Now back in Google Merchant Center, we have just uploaded the feed. Let's look at all the products and see if they're coming across as expected. Let's look at heels. If we scroll down, we'll see the product type is shoes, which is basically the product category. Click on the promotions tab. Let's click on the plus icon. Let's choose the country. I'll keep it at the United States, keeping it consistent with my feed. Language is English. Currency is fine. For the first one, let's try amount of. The first promotion type we have is amount of, which just gives you a monetary discount or for a set amount. Another option that we have is buy quantity of products, get amount of. This means you get a monetary discount only if you have bought a certain amount of products. And last but not the least, we have buy a quantity of products and get the same item at a discount. Let's say for example, if you're buying shoes, if you buy three shoes, the fourth one might be 50% off. So for now, let's just choose amount off and keep it simple. Let's scroll down and let's give a discount of $5. Here you can also set a minimum purchase amount, but it's optional and I'll keep it empty for now. Let's go hit continue. Now it's asking you for the promotion title and ID. Let's say all product promotion ID is all. Now here you can choose if this promotion is for certain product IDs, all products or custom filter based on product attributes. For now, let's say I'm going to choose this promotion being for all products. Let's choose that. If you want, you can add a promo code, which means when a customer uses a certain promo code, that's only when they're going to be able to use this promotion. For now, let's keep it at empty. So let's choose the date ranges. For the start date, let's say from the first and for the end date, let's say the third. So the promotion will only run for three days. Let's apply it and create the promotion. Once you have created the promotion, it does take Google about 24 hours or less to validate the promotion. So after you've created the promotion, it might not immediately show up. So just be patient and soon you'll have your promotions showing up. Right now, let's go ahead and create another promotion. Click on the plus icon again. Let's select the country being United States once again, language being English, and this time let's use percentage of. Last time when we created a promotion, we used the promotion time amount of. Similarly, this percentage of gives you a percentage of when you buy a product. This time around, let's go use this. Buy a quantity of products to get percentage of. So I'll choose that. Let's say you need to purchase at least three of my products and you'll get a discount of 20%. Let's go ahead and continue. Once you've done that, let's give it a promotion title. Let's say percent off 
and let's make this the promotion ID. This time I'll go ahead and choose this option which means products with promotion ID that matches this promotion ID will be eligible for the discount. But before we do that let's go back to CTX feed and make sure our feed has promotion ID attached to some of our products. Let's go back to our feed scroll all the way down and see if we can find the promotion ID attribute. There you go, as you can see this is the promotion ID attribute. If you want you can assign a static value to this. When you assign a static value all the products will have the same promotion ID. Let's say if we put percent off which is the promotion ID that I've created here all the products in our feed will be assigned this promotion ID. However, I want this promotion ID to have a dynamic value. That means according to the categories, I want this promotion ID to change. So let's go to dynamic attribute and create a new one. To add a new dynamic attribute, click on the add new button. Now let's give this attribute a name. Google promotion. And let's add some conditions. Let's say when the product category is equal to shoes, the output is going to be percent off. Let's add another condition. Let's say when the product category is equal to underwear, assign the value U sale. There we go. Let's give, make this capital. In our Google Merchant Center, I have not created this promotion ID yet, but soon I'll create it. For default, let's keep it at blank. There we go. Let's go ahead and save it. Now let's go back to our feed, clear the cache, and now let's try adding the attribute. New attribute. Promotion ID. There we go. Google promotion. Let's update and generate this feed. Now it's time to re upload this feed into Google Merchant Center. I've just re uploaded my feed with the new product ID attribute. Let's go ahead and finish our settings for the promotion. This is all good. Let's go ahead and set a date range. Let's say start day is the first, end day is the seventh. Let's go ahead and apply. As you can see, Google at least needs 24 hours to validate your promotion before it can go live. That's all fine. Let's create the promotion. Let's go create another promotion for our underwear sale. Click on the purse icon. Country is going to be United States. Language English. And let's choose percent off. This time we'll choose this option which is buy quantity of products and get the same item at a percentage off. That means when you're buying a certain product and you've bought a few of them already, the same product you'll get a certain quantity off. So let's choose that. Let's say once you purchase 3 of my products, the next 10 products that you're gonna buy, you're gonna get a 50% discount. Let's go ahead and continue it. Now let's give it a title underwear sale the promotion ID is going to be you sale you need to make sure the promotion ID is the exact same as the one that you've created in your feed because as you can tell these filters are case sensitive now if we choose this option similar to our previous example the promotion ID is going to be picked up from our feed and the product is going to be promoted against this promotion ID. However, in this case, we're going to test this option out, which is create a filter based on product attributes. Let's say the product attribute we'll be choosing is product type, which is basically the product category in our website and in our feed. So let's say if the product type or product category is underwear, we want that to be chosen. Basically, anything with the product type or product category underwear is going to get this discount. Let's keep the promo code as it is. Let's give it a date range once again. 
start from first ends on let's say the tenth let's apply these changes let's create a promotion let's go take a look at the last few promotion types that we have let's click on plus again let's choose United States English now if you choose free gift you get these options for promotion type if you want you can give them a free gift let's say when they buy one of our products they get a free toy and you can also set a minimum purchase amount or the minimum quantity amount is required for them to get this free prize the other option that you have is a gift card so you can give them a gift card worth let's say $100 and also at the same time you can set the minimum amount of purchase and quantity last but not the least you have the free gift option from your inventory here you can give them an item from your own inventory also at the same time you can also set the minimum amount of purchase and the quantity another offer that you can present to your customers is free shipping when you choose free shipping you get these options one is free standard shipping one is free overnight shipping and one is free two-day shipping if you choose any of these options, you get to set the minimum amount and the quantity they need to buy for them to be eligible to get these free shipping. Now in our main promotion page, you can see that one of our promotion has been approved and is already live. If you want, you can filter the promotions by this filter. Let's say we choose all, let's say apply. Now we can see all the different promotions, the ones that are pending and ones that has been approved as well. There you go guys, now you know how to create a promotion in Google Merchant Center. If you have any questions or issues, you're welcome to reach out to us at support at webappick.com. I hope you guys found this video useful. Please leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. I hope everybody has a good day. Thank you very much.